Alright, everybody, make sure to like, subscribe, and go follow me on Rumble. As we're continuing my playthrough of A New Home, as I'm going to be showing you how to play the game and how to win. And I'll be doing this for all scenarios, even the DLC ones, and I'll be playing a lot of Endless Mode as well. Because I know someone asked how long is this series going to be, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh... Arcs should be one to two videos. New Home is going to be about three. Winter Home is going to be one to two videos. Refugee is going to be two videos. Last Autumn is going to be two videos. And On the Edge is also going to be about two videos. That's minimum, though. I'm not entirely sure how long it'll take. Uh, we do have more people than we have houses. We need to build a few more of these houses. One... Two. Well, we need. Because apparently there's no more places over there. I'll start building over here as well. Four. And now we're out of wood. Wood is something we do not have a lot of. Do we have charcoal kins? I can shut those down, actually. I think we do. Yeah, charcoal kin will actually shut down for right now. It's helping us gather quite a large chunk of coal, but we don't really need them working on it because we have a good amount of coal. Now, we ne we'll never have enough. We have a good amount. Oh, we just found some stolen supplies. This will allow us to earn far more wood and help us build even more. And looks like we need two more houses. Which we'll need a few more, really. And right now, our main limit is wood. And actually, I'm going to sign another research here. We're going to need difference engines, because it's going to get way colder soon. But it is actually about to just get warmer, I meaning these houses will mostly be fine. I can probably lower the generators, uh, the amount of heat it's producing. We have a lot of discontent. Let's lower that. Why do we have so much discontent? It's cold at home, corpse disposal, overcrowded medical facilities. It's really the overcrowded medical facilities, isn't it? Let's get workers working in the house of healing. Captain's voice? My voice is law. My word is law. Uh, actually, we're out of food. So we need to start increasing how much food we're making by turning all these into hunter's huts and building a few more of them. And actually, we do not have enough uh, wood there for that last one. But this one needs more workers. Yeah, so we need a bit more food. Are we not producing soup anymore? That's probably why. Everybody's welcome. Now, we have a lot of sick people. It looms ahead. Yep, there's the storm. We need to start sending out our people. Where are you? You're at our city. We need to start sending out people over there. As you see, it changes your view, because your view is normally here, but it changes it to like this. We need to get, we need to get to these locations. Gather as many people as possible, and research this, which will take a lot of steel and a lot of wood, which we have very little of, because of all this building I'm doing. Now, we're not making soup, right? That's our big problem here. It comes 100 food rations, so I actually do this. This content will fall. Where is the cookhouse? It's right here. We are making soup. We're just out of food because I didn't make any. I'll take a day to get over there. We have no clue when the storm is coming. But we are at the end of this scenario. And very soon it will just be over. We need to stockpile tons of food. So let's see, is there any technologies we could increase the amount of food we're getting? Hunter's gear, which is going to need difference engines, which needs more steel. We got them both working overtime. Now, we do have tons of people sick or unable to get into any healing areas. So let's build another house of healing and another one. Would build one more, but unfortunately, there's no place we can place them inside this range. Feeding. Oh, right here we can place one. Yeah, the people are a bit hungry. Uh, we're going to do purpose laws because we do not have a fighting arena yet. I've gone this entire way without even building a pub. 
That's impressive. Normally I always build a pub. Wait, is this will help? With everything. It doesn't need to be heated unless it's literally super cold. There we go. Three of them should be fine. Then we, then we can sign the pub, which will help discontent, and then we can get moonshine. Many people will not get discontent from eating soup. Alright, fighting arena is built. That was a little bit of discontent, which we have a lot of because all these medical facilities are crowded and these can hold 20 people each. We still do not have enough. We need more hunter hangers. And then finally we can get difference engineering, which allows us to get more heating. Yeah, uh, just just going down a bit. I'm pretty sure I can do three days. This stuff takes quite some time. But as you see, we're doing a few problems here simply because I did not have enough food, and not stockpiling food, nor am I making enough food. We will have a bite tomorrow. We do have 42 people who are homeless. So let's build a few more bunk houses. I would prefer to just get them in houses, but we do not have the funding to do such things. And we can't really. We can build one house in the range. Two, three, four. There we go. That's four houses, which should be enough. Can we get another bunkhouse in anywhere? Right there. We are going to start turning this level three soon. Because it should house everybody there. There's still a few people who are sick who cannot be treated. We will build another house of healing. If possible, I'll try to find a location. Where can we place this? Because really, the, the difficulty of late game is not having enough people. But, yeah, you only have to survive, like, 30 days. Which is both an upside and a downside, because you only have 30 days to complete everything. Am I really willing to spend an entire... Well, yeah, I could also build houses here. We're going to get more people soon and extra researches. So, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to build a steam up, which actually we're low on a bit of everything. Low on steel, low on wood. We don't have enough food. You know what our problem is? We don't have enough space to hold all the food. We're gathering. Bring them to our city. I think that's the problem. And also, how are we only getting about 200 food from all this? It's because we don't have those hunter's tools. That's why. So we need, we need hunter's tools. Flying hunter gear will get us a bit more food. We'll make this for raw food, because we're only going to be able to survive with what food rations we have. Deep hollow, you know what, we're going to leave them to die. I'm fine with that. I only brought the first one back. The second ones can die. I'm fine with that. Because we need... We don't need more people right now. This is the one time in the game where I think I have enough people. Uh, we could get triage. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. The pub. Let me just... Oh, yeah, we do need to research that lens very soon. That way we can actually see when the storm will arrive. Alright, uh, where can we build this that will be heated? You know what? We'll build it here. It won't be heated yet, but we're going to get generator range extended. Camp Valcom, I'm pretty sure, is a very important place. Let's head there. Runaway Child, uh, equip them for the journey. 30 food rations. Quite expensive, but... Oh, well. I'll build that there too to increase the speed of our research, and we're gonna have to turn the generator on. We can't really afford to turn it on the higher. We might just have to throw on the overdrive. Because we need more coal at a far faster pace than we're getting. Although we do have. What we do have is a lot of people and some, a few steam cores. I could afford to build another mine here. And get some people running it. And also, 
Coal thumpers. I can build more of these. One. No, I want to. I want to build it where there's not any. It's the problem with all the stuff in the ground. It's it, it gets in my way. I need to be able to build a few of these. So let's build them this way. One, two. Nope. I do think some people will die during this, but it'll be fine. Three. Also, right now, hope's not a problem. It's literally everything else. All right, now since that's three of those, we're gonna need six gathering posts. We have the people for this. We'll just say that that is enough and that connects everything. Would love to upgrade these to steam coal thumpers. Yeah, let's, let's just throw in the overdrive for just a little. Yeah, the pub's closed. Because it's just too cold. This is even closed. Because it's too cold. And both our steelworks are also too cold. Which, yeah, this is starting to become a problem. We're going to need a heater there. We're going to need two heaters here, which is quite costly. And we're going to need a shrine here. And we're going to throw people back on burning wood. And we really need our engineers to speed up their research. Tip from a believer, alright. Because a lot of our people are starving because we have far more population than we used to. And we still have over 120 people, which honestly, this right here is going to take up all those people. Just this simple cooperation. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90 people need to operate all that. Uh, we'll direct the scientists to the city. Because I need to find the research out here. We really need... Well, we have to get this. We just have to. We have to get a bit more steel. Let's turn this on. Heater. Come on, just... There's a few pieces of steel. There we go. A lot of people are mad about bad food and overcrowding in medical places still. I think the Faith Keepers are finally ready to... Yeah do everything all at once and there we go just and there cost us a bit of food but everything's all right in the world camp valcom's the place we need to go to all right now it's time we'll turn these all to overtime shifts only and we're going to be putting all of these guys on overtime shifts Actually, no, I don't think we can afford that for the discontent it will cause. I'll actually replace some of these workers with just engineers, because there's currently nothing extra they can do for us. Other than uh, nothing, really. We really need to just be gathering food. We're out of steel for right now, so I guess we'll just place down a hunter's hut. We need to research as fast as possible. Um, we could get corpse disposal, but our people are already upset enough. Moonshine, there we go. Soup no longer causes uh, as much discontent. And uh, nine overtime works. One out of popular decision. A lot of stuff is pulled upon. We actually need to turn this off here, and I'm going to have to spend a bit of extra coal. But our coal... Yeah, we're making more coal than we're burning. All right. That's good to hear. But we also need more food, and I'm pretty sure we are spending far more... We're gaining far more food than we can store. Raw food. So I'm going to build... Is this where Saldus really comes in handy? A few resource depots, which do not need to be heated. A lot of discontent. Camp Valcom, come on, go. You explode the ice caves, nothing to do here. 
Really? Okay, uh, snow burrows then. There's gotta be something out here. I think we've lost some mad that they can't. Uh, we'll direct the scientists to our city because we just. Where's the damn research? I know it's out here somewhere. Oh, we have eight people homeless. Oh, well. Uh, more space for raw food. More storage for food. The problem is, as fast as we can produce the food, people are already eating up most of it. It's also, this, this workshop's really cold. People are getting sick working there, but we're just going to have to deal with that. Alright, and another house there. And let's just put one there. Alright, we got that. Now we can focus on generator efficiency, so we're burning 10% less coal. Might not seem like a ton. Now we prepare for the storm, hope falls, so we need to rescue. This is all optional. We need to research generator power level 3 and research generator overdrive, and we need at least a week's worth of food. So, let's see, a week's worth of food is 3,168 rations. Uh, how many can we hold of food rations? So, let me check here. We can hold 1,650. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need a bit more storage for that. I cannot afford to research other things I do not need right now. We're, we're generating a lot of coal thanks to this over here. We need to build places to store our food. Right, these guys are waiting. Jagged Rocks had... Okay, yeah, this is Nelson's Stormwatch. Nelson's important. And currently some survivors are coming our way. A few of them are going to die. That's certain. I play this a little less than optimal. I mean, listen, guys. I've, I've literally won this game on the hardest difficulty. We... S okay, so now we can't just... We just can't produce the food fast enough. And we're out of wood. I might get the atomics I'm working on wood gathering then. Uh, we will leave them to die and head over to Camp Meteor and quickly get back. Because we really need these researches. A lot of discontent here. Would like to lower that, but we have no way to. Unless is my no. Alright, we need to be able to hold more food. How much food can we hold now? Uh, 3,000, and we eat up 600 a day. Alright, we really need another cookhouse to cook enough food fast enough. Uh, field kitchen, we can't have 40. You know what? I'm signing the new base law. Send the faith keepers, I'll sign the law. This will reduce how much food we need because we're going to kill some people here. And if needed throughout the storm, we will execute some people. I wanted to try winning it out doing this, but to be honest, it's too difficult. We'll execute someone effective immediately. Uh, you cannot execute children, unfortunately. I know all you guys out there want to execute the children, but you can't. Yeah, they hang up this for the generator, and they build. It's been done. 23 citizens died. Although it only says 14. We really... We kind of needed those people, but at the same time, we don't. Yeah, look at that. We have enough. Plus, there's more on their way. Uh, we will be executing someone effective immediately, though. Because... Discontent's kind of high, but they are devoted. Meaning all actions will now... Just discontent will fall. A bit more. Make an example of them. One person will be executed, one of our people dies. Alright. So an execution platform been set up when everyone uses will be right next to the generator. All right, man. All right, generator efficiency is researched. Oh, we have unburied bodies. I completely forgot about the fact that a bunch of people just died. 
and it will be two days until I can pass a law. Alright, they're here at Nelson Stormwatch Tick Technology. What is it? Advanced coal mine is actually kind of useful. Uh, we do not have time to get to anywhere else. Targets cannot be reached. They'll make it to the city before we do. We have four days to prepare for the storm. Let's have someone executed here. We are eating through a lot of our population by doing this. I don't exactly like that. We do need automaton prototyping to get these two things, which is very important. I'm actually just going to take people out of working in the pub because this just doesn't work. And I'll build another cookhouse in the heat. And because right now we have a ton of food, but not any actual, we can't eat it. We have food, but it's not edible at this point. Uh, do you have enough coal? I don't, it doesn't tell me how much coal I need. It's kind of unfortunate. I'd actually like to get heaters upgraded and heater efficiency. Can't meteor. So nothing. Okay. Could have sworn that there's two technologies out here, but apparently I was wrong. You can get some pretty good technologies, of course. You could be like me, get unlucky, and get some pretty bad ones that nobody really wants. And here we go. Never saw this one with them. So I mean, the faith. I mean, more hide in the city. The cost of sin is death. This is what happens to all evil doers. All right, we're executing this man. For what crimes? None. I've simply said to execute him. They're now going to be directing the steam from the generator straight to boiling him alive. All right, our first execution is held. Uh, we're going to sign one uh, a way to get rid of the dead bodies because don't really like that. The dead bodies are quite annoying, They're quite tiresome. They bother me so. Uh, we're actually near storage capacity, so I should take five... Oh, this is only engineers. Where do we have workers working? Can I get engineers? There we go, and now I can max out this and get 45 food. A lot. When they do bring advanced coal mines, I think I'll build one. I think I can actually only build one. Uh, we'll just send the sober home because we need those 12 people. We, we have from 620 to 525. How many people have died? Yeah, so I killed two people, one for being an atheist, and one for uninterpreted wickedness. Who had both been here from the very start. They're criminals. They brought this upon themselves. I simply did what needed to be done. <laughs> uh it's, it's funny. It's, it's, it, it is. It, it is truly funny. At least what I think. You guys might not think. Like, no. That's not funny. You, you just killed some innocent people. And I said, well, that was truly innocent. I'm like, but you still killed someone, though. Uh, not in real life. Honestly, I like trying to play this game like how I would like to be treated, but at the same time, it's kind of difficult to do that in a cold, dying world. You know, I've heard that the world might actually freeze over. Tip from a believer, discontent falls. It's good. Alright, and we're getting on a what here? Hunter's Hut. Okay, we don't have any workers to man that, but I'm sure I can take everybody out of the steel mill. Who's not a worker, and I'll play some of engineers. And now we have a lot of food rations. We simply need to cook it. Which I'm using cookhouses because we get more bang for our buck. And we we have food, but not enough to go around like this. 1,000 will be able to turn into 5,000, but we don't have the storage for it. Uh, research. Still not enough wood. I, I'm literally gonna get automaton to do the wood and a person on call. Uh, if these people get sick, 
it'll be fine. How much coal are we making versus burning through? We're at a balance of plus a thousand coal a day is what it says, I think. Oh no, I barely looked at it. Oh yeah, heater efficiency, we'll get that where our heaters will cost us less coal and be more effective. And there they go, they got back with advanced coal mines. Which we will build. Yep, we can only build one though. We'll build it right on top of there. Now this guy's waiting at home, we're instead gonna dismantle the scouting team. Right here. Disband. We now have a few more workers in this city. Did more people die? No, okay. I was worried there for a second. Uh, the, de the decomposing bodies thing is not really ideal. But there isn't exactly anything I can do about it. Yeah, that's everything we did out here. I didn't use any outposts. Outposts are a bit more difficult to set up. You have to be planning way ahead, and I didn't want to. Our all teams are back from the... St uh, yeah, I'm not getting all the survivors. I left those two to die. We need more upgrading. We already have overdrive coupling now, which is really good. We need the final, and then more food rations. Which, we're trying to get as fast as possible. I, I ought to really turn all cookhouses to overtime. Why is this inoperative? Cause the, oh, cause this is on, whereas this is on 24 seven cause the club's here. And everything here is operating at a different time. I have more people and need less engineers. There we go. Put you on work in overtime. We get automaton prototyping, which actually we did not build a single extra automaton. We did this all one automaton, which I would not exactly recommend doing. It's quite difficult, but it still worked. Uh, prayers at work. Uh, gathering posts. Let them pray. I'm fine if that we have enough coal. I'm fine if this is at zero efficiency because all workers are praying because they think this is the end. They're going to die no matter what. Which with that attitude, yeah, they're going to die. So the people we're not going to feed is going to be them. Which actually I'm pretty sure that the people who get fed first in this game are the children. And the people who get treated first are the children. I mean, the people who are more likely to die are the adults. This is just what I've seen. Uh, we do not even execute anyone yet. Trust me, I'm looking for every single opportunity where I see as as a worthy sacrifice to literally just sacrifice someone. All right. Now, how many? We have 2,000 food rations. We need 3,001. Yeah, it, it, it has lessened how many food rations we need. Because we killed a few people, which, well, well. And... It's about to get a little colder in here. Fight over supplies, keep me updated. I'll send the faith keepers if needed. Which I already know that it is needed. And we're still not really generating enough food. Now we have more raw... At least we do have some extra raw food, which we can convert into real food during the storm. Alright, yeah. There we go. Generator power upgrade unlocked. Which I do not think we are... We have anywhere near enough. We're actually going to get... Um, cemetery. This is probably the only time I'd recommend the cemetery, because so many people are going to die. And so many have died. There we go. Cemetery is as far away from the city as possible. Disperse the crowd and find out people getting hurt and injured. We have plenty of able men to cure them. Tip from a believer. Some supplies are recovered. Decrease discontent. Uh, we'll heat this coal mine. Yeah, so, so food supplies are ready, now we just need to finish this research and continue doing more research, which will actually go over to food, health, and shelter and get housing. So the generator is ready, we did what we were able. Uh, I'm gonna start putting, I'm gonna put this down here just to get people to... Well, no, it's too cold for that. 
We really need some more wood. Uh, we can actually build another advanced coal mine, but only on top of another coal mine. Which I'll put over here. And we do need more wood still, because we need to build another resource depot. This is the only time probably I would build larger resource depots if I didn't find them cost ineffective. As we do not have enough materials to stockpile them. To, to that point. Alright, now actually I'm going to be going for house insulation. Houses will be warmer, because I'm pretty sure a bunkhouse counts as a house. We're also going to get house redesign. To where it'll cost us very little to actually build these. And we can build these before the storm. Here we go. Cemetery's built and all this content goes down. Which turns out a lot of that was just from people being dead. Makes sense. I wouldn't quite be happy with dead bodies just being everywhere about the city. Nobody doing anything about it. Now this is only hope. So we don't even need that. We can get triage which might be worth it. Prosthetic limbs doesn't really matter. Purpose. We could get a field case if we had to build two of those. It does raise the temperature in workplaces by one, but it's just a bit too costly. So we're just going to leave the laws unsigned for now. It's insane that it'll cost us 120 wood to build that. Stockpile a bit more coal. So, what's our coal situation like? Yeah, we're still stockpiling it. And it's about to get colder. There we go, house insulation. I mean, all these houses will be slightly warmer. As currently, it's negative 80 degrees Celsius. Very cold. And it's about to drop by one level, and it will continue to do that for a while. I love these guys to die. Do I really have to go get them? Am I just going to lose the game if I don't? I don't remember. Alright, now we're going to get house redesigned as soon as we're able to. Now, are these houses one degree warmer? No, they are not. It's only for houses. Alright. All our wood is actually being used up by the charcoal kin, which we'll turn off for now. Which... We're still generating coal, just not that much. It also tells you how many people are uh, gathering coal, and what they're gathering coal from. I think we have enough now. We do. There we go. Man, here comes the storm. Which it only drops at one temperature, we'll be fine. Anyways, here it comes. Didn't think it was possible for it to get this cold. So you see, now it's negative 90. Now every single day, it'll be dropping one degree. The city must survive. Survive the storm. We're dismantling anything that is out in the cold for too long. We will be heating all workplaces that cannot work in child shelters. Which we should probably build more of, but they will not. Now all of these will stop working. And I will dismantle them as they will just get workers sick, as they will try to go out, but they cannot. But uh, first, let's actually... Well, it's night. No, it's work time. Let's build some better housing. That way they're a bit warmer than just cold. Tip from a believer, alright. We are out of wood. Come on, more wood. Actually, yeah, we're gonna start um, dismantling buildings that cannot function. There we go. Those are all the buildings that cannot function due to our circumstances. House redesign. I'm probably going to get a healthcare insulation next. I'm losing a limb, I see. I don't really care. You can lose a limb. We'll, we'll focus on it after, quote unquote. The storm's over. I swear. You live that long. They won't. Um. We could start using the overdrive here, though it's not worth it. Where's all our wood going? Who knows? Seriously, where's all our wood going? I don't know. Now we have tons of workers free. We're still producing more coal than we're spending. 
Yeah, I did want to wind up as least deaths as possible, but then I just gave up on that and... Let me check how many people are dead. Where is our cemetery? It's over here. Only 15 citizens are buried here. That's, that, that's an acceptable number. Casualties are acceptable. Uh, I should probably heat this. And build far more houses. No, I did not want to build a house out in the middle of the cold. But yeah, these houses actually do not cost much. They only cost 10 wood and 7 steel to build. Just the price of a tent with some extra uh, steel involved. Because we're building them on top of hot houses. Not hot houses, bunk houses. There we go. Now, a lot of people are just going to take because they do not have housing. They'll have to build their housing. Or they will die. Let's use Captain's word. I am the captain. Hear my words. I say this, that, and this. And you will comply or I will have you killed. Effective immediately. Uh, I should turn on the overdrive here. No, I won't. This is fine. Send volunteers. Some of them may die. Now, it says some. And it only says 10. But it, it's really 17. Actually, this is because nobody can afford to be in anywhere. Where are these people dying from? I'd like to know. The way I can solve the problem. Now, the overdrive only lasts so long. But, honestly, we were going to be able to shelter this storm. It's just that I didn't build this stuff fast enough, and I did not devote enough engineers to researching. That's really my problem here, is I just didn't research stuff fast enough. So, yeah, take it from me and research porn. Get an outpost. And solve problems before they ever occur. For instance, I did not have a problem with call and but after the early game. There's absolutely no problem with call. Now there is a slight problem with call. More people, some of them may die. Can I turn off this now? Only a few places will be very cold. Yeah, ten of our people died again. It says some people will die. But every now and then, more than how many volunteers you send down there will die. We don't actually need these coke houses for right now. I will take everyone off of them. And actually, funny enough, this content's really low, and I can get, I can get it even lower. Like, I can get the discontent even lower. By executing someone! Come on, guys. Nah, we're just gonna do public penance and nighttime prosecutions. We probably shouldn't have done both of us at once, but oh well. Then we'll just dismantle this cookhouse. And yeah, everybody's fine, and in fact, most people are warm. Except for this one workshop here. But other than that, people are doing okay. I'm not sure why exactly everybody's getting sick here. Why there's so many sick... Uh... Praying. So looks like he got sick going to the house of prayer. Because that has no insulation. Well, that is interesting. Let's hold a sermon. No, oh, well, it's fine. We have plenty of spaces for these patients. And now all we have to do is really just sit here and now we throw on overdrive. And yeah, this is how you can win new home. You can sort of... If you can improve upon your strategies here. This is just normal mode. You guys should probably be playing easy mode. But honestly, quite the easy scenario compared to everything else in this game. And only, it's only negative 110. Also, I'm pretty sure it's canon that during... Um... The winter here, eventually it will start raining liquid nitrogen. Pretty sure that happens. So, what's our coal consumption? We're making more coal than we're burning, alright. And honestly, I believe that Kronok Cannon, I don't think that everybody survived the winter. And I think 
canonically, people died. Yeah, well, anyways, this will be over soon, and we'll all be fine and dandy. Uh, is there anything else we need to research? Healthcare, insulation might be nice. Yeah, we had more than enough food, more than enough coal. In fact, our only thing we're losing is wood. We have about 15 hours worth of wood because we have, um, we're burning it. But, yeah, wood is a big problem for me always in these scenarios as I never prioritize it, even though I know I need to. Yeah, it's still not even that cold. In fact, people in their houses are just a little chilly. It's minus 10, and it's, it's gonna get worse. Temperatures drop one level every day, and it'll drop three. I'm honestly not sure how you're supposed to survive this with nobody dying. We need to let the generators overheating cooling off before we turn it back on. Just that. Refuse to work. Flip the force them to work. I have plenty of discontent left. Alright, now I can turn the overdrive back on for a little while. As it rises 25% slower and cools down 25% faster, it's 50% more overdrive. If I can do math, which I'm pretty sure I'm able to do math. Let's also get advanced heaters. It only costs two coal. Coal's doing fine. Let's use Captain's Word to get discontent to zero. And we're going to turn it off right before we hit here. And let it cool down as much as possible. A lot of medical places are unable to operate, but a few still are. Many people are liable to get sick, including gravely ill, but we have the space for them. I need to get this to about 50% before I can turn it back on. Panic spreads, force them to work, yet again. I mean, come on, guys. What's wrong with you? Actually, we'll turn this facility off and get the people out of there, as it's just far too cold. Same thing here, we have enough coal to survive for the rest of this. Including just what's off the ground, so we'll just take everybody out of here. Let's lower this discontent a little bit. Alright, now what is generator overdrive app? We do have a bit better heating, but still, it's too cold in most places. Alright. Let's get, um... Let's get gathering post insulation. Why not? Just to research something. Almost wish there's a level 5 to this, but there isn't. See people, but to hear that. It's a miracle. The man who was looking for his dot founder. Alright, it's at 47%. This will last us for the rest of the game. Let them stay home. I'm fine with the research station not working. We can just... Wish that worked, but no, it doesn't. You can't just assign different people there. So all in all, I... 44 citizens are buried here. Okay, that, that's, that's, that, that's correct. See, because like, uh, they, they bury them at different times. It takes a little while each time. Because laws, uh, we'll buy field kitchens. Just, just because I want to. There we go, field kitchens. Never say anything about operating them. Say strong work ceases in most workplaces. Now this is decreased by three levels where literally everything is frozen. Everything. Also, I'm tearing down um, this charcoal kin. And you know what? We don't really need this automaton anymore. I'm willing to dismantle this automaton for the steam core in it. But you didn't know you could do that.
This is as warm as it gets, and we actually might have to turn off this because it's about to explode, and it doesn't really matter because people are very cold. And there we go. That's how you can win a new home. It's a bit difficult there during the end, but that's due to improper planning on my part. Not really focusing much on the food scenario, which caused me to not have enough engineers to research. And improper use of overdrive. But in all in all, nobody actually died from the storm. I killed more people than the storm did. Five, ten people died in expeditions. I left many people to die. Yeah, I actually killed everybody who died. Not the cold. Nice. That's gonna do it. Make sure to like, subscribe, go follow me and rumble, and this is how you play Frostpunk A New Home. You don't have to do it exactly like I did, you could sign Order Path as well, but I find Faith a bit easier. But yeah, till next time. Bye and thanks for watching. Was it worth it?